Hi guys, welcome back to the Isadora Skylet podcast. I hope you have been doing great the past two weeks, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't upload on Sunday. I just, I don't know. I don't have an excuse to be honest. So yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> so the past week has been quite interesting. I'm actually recording this episode on Friday, immediately after I've seen this whole GK Nyambura situation. <laughs> This is so messy. Like, how do you just go to your ex's house at night and then start screaming? Like, I just want to know where do people get this energy, to be honest. And I would love to judge her, but then... Listen, I don't know where to start, but this is my take. This is just a case of someone buying the tickets to a circus and then wondering why they're seeing clowns. This is what GK Nyambo is doing buying the tickets to a circus, goes into the circus and then starts seeing clowns and then like now starts to wander. Because even if she starts posting all those like, all those messages and the back and forth that she has been having with her ex the past few months or weeks or whatever time span, it's just not helping her. It's not even making her look good. And I don't think she sees this. It's either that or she has, she has a, a strategy. Because I... How do you sit back and allow yourself to get humiliated to this point? Okay. I feel like she claims that this guy is a narcissist. But yet she doesn't know how to deal with a narcissist. She thinks she's winning with this strategy of being the drama queen. But she doesn't know that is that is what a narcissist wants. For you to act up while they stay calm. He's just busy recording her while she screams and makes a fool out of herself. And now she's like the joke of the country where there are memes. And maybe she's having fun with it and making money from the advertisements that she's doing on her IG. But I don't think this is the, this is the way. With narcissists, you have to either leave... Or you just play their game. Like you just give them a dose of their own medicine. And for you to give them a dose of their own medicine, you need a ton of patience. Oh my God, I'm trying to record and there's a baby crying so loudly. God. <sighs> let me just, let me just be calm because I have had so many takes with this one. Oh my God, are they pinching this child as I record? Because guys... <laughs> with narcissists the more you engage the more you lose and i do not think gk nyambura like i've said sees this this is why like when they say like with narcissists you walk away this this like this is the example as to why uh, uh, what what english am i using i okay what i'm trying to say is this with a narcissist for the peace of your own mind, you have to walk away. Especially if you do not know the blueprint of a narcissist. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of nonchalant behavior. And GK Nyambura is not a nonchalant person. She's a live wire. Picking bomb. She seems like a person who reacts to everything. And for you to beat a narcissist at their own game, you have to play differently. And I, GK, GK... Maybe she might get a lot of brand deals from this drama or something, but I, nah, -uh. I, I, I just wish she just re strategize when it comes to her ex and mostly check out this lady called Shalon Lester on YouTube. And she also has a podcast called, um, what is the name? Girl on Top. And ladies, when I tell you, check out, check this particular lady out on youtube that's shalon lester on youtube and her podcast is girl on top on spotify please check her out you will know the workings of a narcissist like she talks about these people every single time if you want to learn something just just check her out i'm so sorry i'm sniffing i don't know i have a running i have a running nose i'm recording this at night because if there is one thing narcissists will do is act good around so many people. Like they act like the best people around so many people. 
and then when it comes to youth they are very different so it is very hard for you to convince other people what this person is actually doing or what kind of a person this person is you have to guy you have to understand this guy hmm, guy what are you guys dating out here and then still engaging with like I, I can't even believe after all that drama from was it last year amani i don't know she's still having like back and forth with this guy until you're going to go get your clothes no you, baby girl may have a feeling you are looking you are looking for drama guy i i don't know i'm not buying into the whole i was going to get my clothes maybe that is what she was going for but it like subconsciously wanted drama to be honest again this is my opinion i'm not saying this that it would be condescending but oh sometimes when someone wrongs you you just want to get a leak back or like revenge by acting up and then you sometimes don't see what it is doing like it's making you look like the mad person oh my god and men are actually having fun with this one hmm especially the narcissist they're just looking at this and they're like yes yes that's our boy you know that's our boy oh my god babe just control your emotions don't let them control you i even there is i even remember there is a time i i gave a guy my number on ig he asked for my number i was like okay i give him my number because that day i was feeling like being a nice person i gave him my number like there was no like hold back and forth even all the people who have had my number from ig not even all it's just like four people maybe all of them can tell you that they never had to like deal with me playing hard to get at the studio stuff pay a number i gave him my number and this is where the mistake was just giving him my number i gave him my number at the beginning when we were talking like on the first day he's such a nice person then the next day he starts saying oh you should send me nudes i'm like no i don't do that he sends me a uh, a picture of like his <laughs> i even i'm losing words i mean lots of words he sent me a picture of a person seated having gray sweatpants and there's a deep print if you get it you get it this picture was a picture i have seen before so i knew that this is a picture i'm a quarter mahali and he's trying to actually make a fool out of me and for the first time i decided you know what i'm going to be very calm and i'm not going to insult this dude because sometimes i usually hey sometimes mimi usherekea wanaume hivi like with with maneno that was before now now the today me i just i'm very calm so he sends me this pic but anyway i'm be there's nothing i hate there's nothing i hate in this life than a man that lies guy miss you like what who wanna ni washanga tu is oma wongo tu azina ni washa cuz ni cuz eleza why are you testing my intelligence you clearly lie like a small child and then think that you can get away with it and then when you see you're not getting away with it you try to gaslight me ai hey does this guy think i am actually foolish so i say no i'm not sending you anything because i'm not even interested in this whole thing kidogo kidogo he starts insulting me he goes on this rant of oh my gosh why did you even give me your number your cheap your this your that your that and i'm busy laughing my ass off like i was laughing my ass off because i have done nothing wrong but he's trying to make me look like the villain this is what narcissists do you act nice but then they use that side of you that is nice as a weakness they will present it to the world as a weakness so after insulting me i'm like why do you have another man's peak are you gay and i did it like so calmly like are you gay i'm not the problem here you're the one who has another man's peaks you have a peak of a man's thighs who who is the problem hapa me i'm not the one who's having issues with his sexuality otherwise you wouldn't be having that picture with you and then he started going off because unajua obviously if you insinuate to a guy that he is having homophobic and not is having um gay tendencies 
they actually get so pissed off and he went off ali kasirika this is what i'm telling you sometimes when it comes to a narcissist you have to be patient if you want to play their game you have to be patient and know sometimes you won't get the biggest revenge but if you want like even small revenge it is them just making a fool out of themselves and falling apart that is the best you can get them falling apart because it's either that ama you just don't engage and the one thing i learned from this particular experience is this i wouldn't have to deal with this person if i didn't even give them my number in the first place if i decided okay let me try and learn like kind of know what kind of a person he is before i give him my number i wouldn't be here in the first place now i know it can happen to it can happen to someone even when you give them your number when you meet them in town or just anywhere but i noticed i reduce the drama when i just don't give out my number online because people just think that they can access me to hevo but there this is coming from someone who can be dramatic at times but like i said one thing i've learned is this just because someone is being a baby doesn't mean you also wear your diaper at you just wear your diaper take a big shit inside the diaper and sus inside like hmm and i know it's very hard to resist the urge to do that because it feels so good at the moment it feels so good at the moment and then eventually you start seeing that you're getting drained <laughs> i know that is like a very weird analogy to use but think about it By the way on top of that this guy decides to actually block me just because I was sending emojis of me laughing throughout when he's just when he's just ranting there oh my gosh you're cheap you meow 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 oh my god like what a bitch that is all I kept saying like I was laughing and saying what a bitch what a what a small bitch I see from the problem and da akona akona picha za wanaume wenzake hapo ameweka ni nini unafanya nazo that is all i could tell him and that kept firing him up like he was so angry guy i can only imagine what kind of friend this person is and what kind of a partner he actually makes like aibu hey, aibu oh my god So after he blocks me because I'm sending laughing him laughing emojis 5 minutes or 10 minutes later he unblocks me again so many miona ni me unblock you again I go back to laughing because you know at some point I have to choose girls because nilikuwa nimeshajua dawa yake ni gani like I just gave him a dose of his own medicine just laughing laughing at his lunacy I hope that's the right word Yeah, I was just laughing at his lunacy up with you. <laughs> well, you know, so I, I guess I guess I guess nilimtusi kiasi. I guess nilimtusi kiasi. No, I don't think nilimtusi. <laughs> I know today's episode has been all over the place. All my episodes would all my episodes would be all over the place until I get this right. So please bear with me. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> Mwanaume ananitumia picha za mwanaume mwenzake. Mm, is that not a problem, bitch? Like <laughs> Ah. <laughs>